This video is sponsored by Skillshare. This French fruit tart is everything delicious all wrapped into one light and crispy tart. A rainbow of fresh fruit sitting on top of silky smooth vanilla bean French pastry and it's topped or brushed with a glaze of pineapple jam. This is absolutely divine and I'm going to show you how to make it right now. Let's begin with the tart shell. So we're going to be adding some all-purpose flour, powdered sugar and a little bit of vanilla extract to the bowl of a food processor and you want to blitz that to help all the ingredients mix together. Then you're going to be adding some cold unsalted butter. I've just cubed mine up and we're going to blitz this until it reaches lentil sized pieces. Add your egg yolks, that's the last ingredient and we're going to blitz that. It's going to form a dough, it's going to go yellow and beautiful and delicious but it's not ready to eat yet because we're going to wrap this in some plastic and we're going to chill it for an hour. Once it's chilled, I'm going to pop it on top of a pastry mat, add a little bit of flour on top and we're going to begin rolling it out. A really cool trick to transferring it over to your tart tin is to actually roll it over the rolling pin, lift up the rolling pin and then drape it back over the tart tin. It's really important that you don't stretch the dough at this point into the tart tin. You want to lift it up gently and encourage it to fall into the corners of the tart tin. Once it has, here's another trick to getting nice, neat cut edges. Just use your rolling pin and run it over the top of the tart tin and you have perfectly cut edges. I mean, it is one of the things I look forward to most when making a tart. It's so satisfying. Use a fork to gently prick some holes into the bottom of the tart. That's going to prevent it from bubbling up as it bakes. Add some scrunched up baking paper on top. I'm going to be using some dry chickpeas. You can use baking beads instead, but nobody has money for baking beads. Chickpeas are way cheaper to use. This is going to go on top of a baking tin and it's going to go in the oven for 15 minutes on 180 degrees Celsius. Once it's baked for 15 minutes, it's gone golden around the edges, but it needs a little bit more baking underneath that baking paper. So gathering up all four corners of the baking paper, gently lift the beads out and bake this for a further 10 minutes. Now you can see it's gone nice and perfectly golden. Let it cool down and let's move on to that silky smooth French pastry cream. Add some milk, heavy cream and sugar to a large saucepan. I'm going to whisk this up on medium heat until we reach a gentle boil. Take that off the heat and then to a jug or a bowl add your egg yolks, the remaining sugar some cornstarch, salt and vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract. You want to whisk this up until it's well combined. Then you're going to add about a quarter cup of that hot milk mixture into the egg mixture. Whisk it up. We're basically gently warming it up before we add it all back into the hot milk mixture. Continue whisking this for about four or five minutes until the mixture thickens. If you can run your finger on the back of a spoon and the mixture doesn't come back together, then you know that this is done. The last thing you want to do to finish this off is add some butter. It's going to help thicken up our pastry cream and make it shiny and glossy. Once you've whisked it and the butter has melted, add it to a bowl and cover it with some plastic wrap. This is going to go in the fridge for about two hours to chill. I'm going to leave mine in there overnight. Now here's a quick message from today's sponsor. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. You can explore new skills in anything you like. 
One of my fellow YouTube bakers, Lori from The Icing Artist, has a course on there teaching you how to decorate cakes, cookies, and cupcakes. Her class is comprehensive, but really easy to follow. In fact, every class on Skillshare is designed to be easy to follow and they're taught by people who have knowledge and skills to teach you how to get amazing results in the thing you want to learn about. So whether you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity or just join a similarly creative community, Skillshare is the place to keep you learning. Now the first 1000 people who use the link in my description box will receive a one month free trial to Skillshare Premium. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Let's move on to finishing off this delicious tart. Our pastry cream has chilled, it's quite thick, so you want to break it up a little bit before you use an electric hand mixer to whisk this until it's nice and fluffy. Add it to your cooled tart tin and spread it around using a spatula, get it as smooth as you can and then, guys, here's the fun bit, decorating it with your favourite fruit. The last thing you want to do is add some warmed up apple jelly or pineapple jelly and I've just gently warmed it up just enough for it to thin out a little bit. You're going to brush the fruit and it's going to make it so glossy and shiny and beautiful. And guys, you can make this tart ahead of time, about two days, but you want to decorate it with the fruit and the glaze about an hour before you serve it. The recipe is on my website, thescranline.com. That's where all my recipes live. And if you want to see more recipes from me, I've got them up on screen right now. Click on those and keep watching. Thanks so much for watching today's video and joining me in my kitchen. I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scranline.